So hey guys, what's up? It is really red in this room right now. I know, Phoenix is, is blocking my way. Oh, lie. Ah. I'm kind of vlogging quickly with this. I am going to talk about the topic about is it wrong to not feel the need or want to go to Pride? Just because I've been that person, I was like, is that wrong that I really don't want to go to Pride this year? And no, there there is nothing wrong with that. I didn't want to go because I don't feel like dealing... Pride is always drama. Like, there is always going to be Pride drama, and that sucks. But it doesn't make you any less a part of the community. It doesn't affect your gay standard in the community. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if I, I've missed Pride like two years in a row before. But Pride in South Carolina isn't really that awesome. I'm being blinded by the light. Blinded by... Phoenix. Hey. Hi. But no, I don't, I don't feel that there is anything wrong with not feeling the need or want to go to Pride. Especially, I've known a lot of couples that didn't want to go to Pride. They just were like, you know, a lot of her exes and a lot of my exes are going to be there. So I don't want to deal with any casualties of people freaking the fuck out over nothing. I've heard a lot of different reasons and I feel like they're all legit. I mean, I just didn't want to go one year. So I didn't go. I don't even know what else to say about that. I just, I don't think that there's anything wrong with not going to Pride. I want to go to Toronto Pride and I've missed it for the past like three years. So... Oops, <laughs> this is gonna be a super, super quick and pointless video, but I have dinner to make for a special girl in my life, and yeah, shh, don't tell her. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a really good Friday, and um, I will see you guys next week. And yeah, stuff. All right, bye guys. Aww.